I worked on it many times, and there are changes that you can see underneath. Here there were pictures, and I took them out. This was something else, and I, at the last minute I did that, and somehow this, these colors, see this mauve yellow, uh, it sort of vibrates, the whole thing. Even here there's colors. Red. I have a trick that I, uh, I may not be the only person in the world who does this. What is it? You work on something and you get stuck. It's, it's overworked, right? Mm -hmm. And if it's a dry painting, you take, uh, you, you, you take a thin wash of, of uh, varnish, retouch varnish, which dries fast. And you superimpose on top. You don't kill it all. You can see underneath. But you sort of destroy it as a painting. And I, you see this red? Mm -hmm. I put it, I put red here, red here, and, and here, to, uh, and that pulls it together. But you have to be, you see, obviously I know how to draw. That This is very sp powerful, st spontaneous stuff. But critics hate me for that, I'm sure. They, they, they don't know what to say. They hate you for spontaneity or no, they hate because, you for... Because I'm so good at what I do. I mean, I, I don't paint academically. I paint realistically. <laughs> what kind of, if, you, if you want to make a critic want to die, tell him he has to write a big, long article on Tega or Rembrandt. Why should, why should they, they would think, oh, how boring. I can't talk about the abstract qualities and the color and the... It's psychology. It's, they, they want to talk about crap. So that all this flower, uh, flowery uh, phraseology comes out beautifully.